empty hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am fly Yeah, this is, this is the song Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm jennifer if you're seeing this face for the very first time consider subscribing because you're definitely on the right channel if you're my return subscribers thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for always coming back to support me i'm so so grateful okay so guys happy new week today is monday what is today date today is monday anyway happy new week like it has been raining since morning and today is monday like i don't understand this rain just want to sack some people from work <laughs> because this is the kind of rain that will be falling and you'll be like oh i don't want to go to work i want to sleep i feel like nothing and for the people that have husband they will not be holding their husband going on that they do <laughs> did i just say that <laughs> don't mind me but anyway i don't like it when rain fall on a weekday like especially in the morning when you are about to preparing to go to work for us that does not have a car like you have to enter bus before you trick from your house to bus stop you are already wet i don't like it i don't like it anyway we cannot question god we are still in rainy season so it's his turn let's enjoy it because when dry season will come i don't want to see any rain oh because that is when i'm going to call rain case you know <laughs> so guys i'm currently at work right now this is to three already and i'm about preparing food like i want to start preparing food like i have beef already on the fire like i'm boiling my beef already so i want to prepare chicken then i want to prepare chicken sauce and beef sauce like i don't know i'm still learning gradually i'm learning every day because this is not one thing that i've done before so let me show you guys what i'm preparing i hope you're good anyway let me ask you guys i hope you guys are good i don't know everywhere is so dark because the weather is not bright let me on the light and see still the same thing the weather is not good i have to open this door by boiling my beef can you guys see that can you guys see it so now i want to remove my chicken from the fridge so here is my chicken here is it focus so here is this So the chicken is inside the pot, like the chicken is on the fire right now. If I finish preparing the chicken, I'll start doing like the chicken sauce and the beef sauce. Then by 3 or 4 o'clock, it's almost 3 anyway, by 4 o'clock, then I will parboil rice because it's rice that I want the person to eat. Like they don't tell you what to cook, they will not tell you what to cook. It's you by yourself that will know what you want to prepare. Their own is that just prepare it good. And let it be sweet so they don't have any problem if you prepare rice if you prepare jerry rice if you prepare anything i always make sure that whatever they eat during lunch they should not eat it during dinner again because it's tiring just imagine that you ate rice for lunch then you are eating rice again for dinner you get tired now so just because i don't want them to keep repeating the same food so i always make sure that anything they eat for lunch they will not repeat that thing during dinner again I want to cut my tomatoes, then my green pepper, then my onions. See, I'm learning. I'm gradually learning. I'm learning every day. Like, this thing has really taught me that if they say do something, like, don't doubt yourself. Don't tell yourself that you cannot do that thing if they ask you to do the thing. Because if them, they are safe, or if anybody that is asking you, believe in you, know very well that okay you can do it why not you believe in yourself why not you just pick up that challenge as okay let me try let me do it so i can remember the first day they asked me to cook i was like ah, i don't think i can do it like on sunday before monday that i would come to work i could not sleep that sunday 
Like I was thinking, oh, tomorrow I'm going to work. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to cook. What am I going to do? I'll wake up by five and start preparing. Do you think I'm ready for this? I even thought of, oh, I'm going to tell them I'm not doing it again. Like I want to quit the job and all that. But see me today, I'm getting used to it. They are not even complaining about the food. Like sometimes you need to try new things. Like sometimes you, you need to pick up that challenge and say, okay, I can do it. If you believe in yourself that you can do it, you can actually do it. Don't just doubt yourself. If you start doubting yourself, that is when you start feeling somehow you feel like, oh, you cannot do it. But if you say, okay, this thing, I'm definitely going to do it. Trust me, you will do it. So enough of the talking. So far, so good. Everything has been going well. The work has been going well. I've been enjoying every bit of this work. I've been enjoying it. So that is it. Let me cut my tomatoes. I don't remember now as I was cutting tomatoes. I said I should tell you guys what happened on Saturday that I went to go and buy something in the supermarket. Saturday, I went out with my people. We and went out to go and buy something. So me, I went there to buy like everything that I will be using to cook. So I went and picked these tomatoes. See these tomatoes you're seeing? I, this particular tomato, so because there you pick anyone you like. You go to where they will go on the price in the line and then they will tell you price of the item that you pick. Then I picked these tomatoes. Six of these tomatoes, this particular tomato you are seeing, it's not that big, it's not even big. I picked six of the tomatoes. Guess what? Guess just guess the price that they told me. They told me the tomatoes is five thousand something. I'm going to check the price and I will put it on the screen so that you guys will see. I was like, for tomatoes. <laughs> See me behaving like a village girl that's for my I was like, my dad for waiting for tomatoes. She said, yes, yeah, so that these tomatoes is imported. It's not from Nigeria. Please. Which country did they import these tomatoes from that is very, very expensive like this? Six of these tomatoes, 5,200 and something naira. Like, I don't understand. Among everything that I bought, is these tomatoes that is more expensive. Like the reason why I even bought the tomatoes is because I used to see it here. Like, that is what my people has been using. But I don't know that this tomatoes is that expensive. Please let me know in the comment section if you know that there's any tomatoes that is not made here in Nigeria that we have to import from Obodo Ibo that is very expensive. Please let me know in the comment section if you have ever bought these tomatoes before. This particular tomatoes, I think the price is too much, but the tomatoes is very good the woman told me that me i can return it if i want to return it but i was just like let me go with it now far as my money can buy it after all the shouting i was now feeling like a a big girl in that place so that is that's what i should tell you guys i just remember when i was cutting this tomato so let me go back to cutting the tomato So guys, I said let me show you guys. Everything is ready. Like, here's the green peppers. Here's my onions. Here's my tomatoes. And I blended onions, uh, ginger, and garlic. Here's my beef. It's ready. I want to cut it into smaller pieces because that is how I saw it on YouTube. <laughs> See, YouTube is now my best friend. <laughs> YouTube was even my best friend before, but now we are super, super best friends because. Anything I don't know how to prepare, I'll just go to YouTube, type it, then I will wash it, then I will know how to prepare it. So this one is not a tutorial, this is just me taking you guys along with me. Like how I cook, the things that I cook, okay? This one is not a tutorial because me, I'm still learning. There's nothing you cannot see on YouTube. There's nothing you want on YouTube that you cannot see. So guys, this is it. It's not that too tiny piece of rice. This is okay. Then my chicken is ready. Let I'll fry it. If I finish doing the sauce, that is when I will fry it. So now I want to do my sauce. Like, <laughs> if you're enjoying this video, please like this video 
share leave a comment below please tell me what you think i'm not doing right okay i'm not using yellow pepper because i've not seen them use yellow pepper before but the one i watched on youtube they use yellow pepper but there's no yellow pepper in the house and i do not buy yellow pepper because i've not seen them use yellow pepper before since i came to this place i have not even seen yellow pepper here before so it's what they are using that i bought but <laughs> the fun part is that they tend to just come out good and testing okay that is it that is it okay So guys, I'm done. Ah, since you guys have not told me that I'm looking beautiful, oh yeah, tell me I'm looking beautiful. <laughs> Don't mind me, but I'm just feeling myself. I'm looking so beautiful. I love my hair. <laughs> So guys, don't mind me. I'm done preparing the beef sauce. Let me show you guys. Here is it. This is the sauce. So this is how it look like. So now it's the chicken sauce that is remaining. This is around so far already. I will not be taking you along while preparing the chicken sauce because I noticed that taking you along is slowing my movement. Like it's making me slow. So I will not be taking you along. I will show you guys the finished look of the chicken sauce so i'll talk to you guys later if i finish okay let me just watch some one or two youtube videos so guys i'm done preparing the chicken sauce let me show you guys so here's the chicken sauce you see how it's looking i do not turn it when i put the chicken i just want it to be like that because i'm going to put it inside the fridge now like now before i go home this is around past five already here is the beef sauce this one i'm not going to put it inside the fridge i'm going to serve it like that and my rice is ready here's the rice see it's just a small portion of rice because it's just one person that wants to eat and this person don't eat so much this one is the spaghetti i prepare in the morning for lunch i'm going to put it inside the fridge now and i've tied it up everywhere just for me to put these things inside the waste bin then go and throw it then clean all this place that will be all for today okay so yeah i'm happy i started cooking early i started cooking around 2 2 and i finished around past five like it's because i was actually making call i just finished making call with my friend we we're just gisting talking about life and everything so the call lasted for so long so i even off the gas because i wanted to gist very well so if not i should have finished cooking like six four o'clock i'll be to five so yeah but anyway finally i'm done i think by this time right now my people are already on their way coming home i hope you enjoy me cooking if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share leave a comment below at the comment section okay like you have been watching me since at least appreciates me 